Utah. Why maximal for your preventive maintenance program? Great question. There are a lot of organizations out there operating their PM programs on Excel, heck, maybe even Word. Um, you can do it. It takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, but you can get it done. However, as your organization grows and you want to stay on top of things, you need some organization. And then as you look to take the next step from a traditional purely like time-based preventive maintenance program to an actual usage or condition-based preventive maintenance program, you start needing some technology in there. And if you ever want to get to predictive, then you definitely need to get some technology involved. And what Maximal brings to the table is the opportunity to start off easy and start with that time-based PM program and get that implemented. Get your assets implemented, get the spare parts implemented, get your job plans implemented, and then get the time-based preventive maintenance program implemented. Or frequency-based if it is something more of like a mileage measurement for a vehicle or something like that. And get that in there, and it's going to manage that for you. It's going to generate those work orders timely and make sure your techs know what they're doing, why they're doing it, and what kind of output result they should be looking for. And what that does us by getting it into Maximo is it creates your baseline so you can get into a more condition-based PM program and then eventually get yourself into a predictive program. If you haven't done anything yet and you're looking to do it, then you got to be aware of the fact that chat GPT is out there, AI is all the rage, and if you're not looking at predictive, then you're already looking to be behind. Maximum is a platform that is already dipping its toes into AI and to get you predictive. And so you want to start with a platform that's going to let you grow all the way through and not look at a lot of different changes and platform migrations in the process. Start with Maximo for your PM program and get to predictive. That's why you start with Maximo because it's not just about PMs. It's about holistic asset management. You start with your assets, then you're out in your spare parts bill of materials. Then you add in the job plans. Then you add in the preventive maintenance schedules against those job plans. And now you've really built a family of interrelated information that gives you a lot more power than just straightforward PM. It's going to be a return on investment. It's going to save you money in the long run. And why is that? Because Maximo has a lot of tools within the overarching Maximo umbrella that allow you to start simple. You don't have to put all the steps on the job plan on day one. You can grow into that. You don't have to know all the spare parts on day one. You can grow into that. Once you move there and you start getting that information fleshed out to where you have a holistic set of information around those critical assets, then you can take the next step with Maximo. And that next step is to start, to start looking at the condition-based maintenance aspect. When we go into our inspection rounds out in the plant, and we're assessing the condition of things. We're looking at things and we're recording that. That condition can then trigger that next PM. So we're no longer waiting on a time-based frequency. And this is just the next iteration from the time-based PM within Maximo. And once we've really gotten solid with our condition-based maintenance program, if we've been collecting our data on our spare parts and on our labor, and especially if we've been recording failure codes against things or remedy codes in this case, if it's pre if it's preventive and we see that there was actually a problem that we remedied, we still want to record that remedy code. Then we can start getting predictive. That's all we need. We know what we're working on, what parts it takes, why we're working on it. That's the remedy code. We can get predictive. And this is what Maximo allows us to do that a lot of other systems don't. And that is build ourselves into predictive rather than hoping and praying that all of this stuff we've captured for the last 20 years is going to be of some value. Truth of the matter is, most organizations are better off re-implementing now and starting fresh and 12 months from now being able to get predictive than trying to carry the massive amount of old, potentially unusable data they have forward. People have been using Maximo for a while and are really focused on just managing their assets and their work are going, hey man, we just manage our, sometimes just manage our preventive maintenance in Maximo. Why do I want to go to mass? This is a, a great question and 
The answer is, do you intend to improve the way you operate your business so that you continue to be competitive in the future with those other businesses in your industry, in your general operating arena? Or are you planning to do something like shift it all overseas? If you want to be competitive in the long run, then you need to get serious about utilizing the capabilities of Maximal fully and then using the capabilities of the application suite, getting into a position where you're monitoring your assets, you're, you're monitoring the health of your assets, and you're getting predictive about the maintenance activities that need to be done to them. That is the only way we are going to stay competitive in the future. End of story. Love to hear your thoughts and comments on this.